Yo, what's up, guys? This is Matt from Matt's Garage, and today I'm going to be showing you how to wire your fan using a relay and a temperature switch that I have installed. So, what this system is going to help you with when your engine reaches a certain temperature, it's going to turn the fan on through a relay. So, let me show you how that works. See, I have a 1985 Mark 5 Ford Cortina that I just did a swap on, so I'm still doing the wiring for everything. I have three relays there that are new and are going to be running my accessories so you can see how dusty the car is. I've been working on it. I already have a, a piece of paper so I don't forget the pins. So you're going to need a relay and I'm running an aftermarket 12V fan. As you can see, the clutch fan has been removed. All my engines never had clutch fans. So I have a 12V uh, aftermarket fan that I installed there and also I got this temperature switch, I believe it's from a Opel or a Mazda, something like that. But this is my temperature switch. So what happens is the coolant goes through there and as it heats up, it warms up the, I don't know if it's a coil or a solenoid in there that actually engages and then bridges these two together and turns the fan on. So I normally just had one wire going to the fan another wire going to ground and then one wire going to the battery from the fan this works as a switch right so i would have one wire going negative fan the other wire positive would come to this side and from this side comes up this side and goes to the fan so that wasn't a very nice setup that i had because the load was on the wires and it would blow the fuse uh, as time goes so I came across this idea. I was like, you know what, let me just wire it through a relay. I, I didn't like relays at first, but after some learning and understanding of what they do, I learned that they actually take a lot of the uh, amperage, a lot of the current it's taken. Like this one is a 20 amp. Is it a 20 amp? This is a 30 amp. Yeah, I think this is a 30 amp, but the number is, you know, it's ruined there. I think it's a 30 amp. So this carries all the current while the switch just, you know, sends a signal so this is going to be the wiring diagram for it so this works with a four pin relay no need for a five pin just a four pin relay would be able to do the job so the first wire uh you would have a you would have a temperature switch that has two wires coming from it the same as a fan two wires coming from it and it's four so you need two more wires and we'll talk about where those ones go so the pin 30 that's going to be on your relay this doesn't show but it's this one underneath just this this one below this one below that's pin 30. Yeah, all relays are going to be numbered so don't just use this as a visual reference because all relays are going to have numbers on them pin 30 goes to your 12v battery so the pin 30 on your relay would move from pin 30 and straight to battery positive right you can fuse that, recommend that you fuse that, and my battery just, my phone just died. So, one wire goes to pin 30, so that's 12V from the battery, right? Runs straight to pin 30, and pin 86, pin 86, that would be your ignition on, right? Or your ignition turn on signal. So, there's going to be a wire or an accessory where it turns on only when the key is turned on, right? When the ignition is turned on. So you need to look for that. In my case, I found one right here. So these two turn on when the, the ignition is turned on and this are for the lights and other stuff, but this turns on. So I was able to join that here. So I know my wiring's not that clean. I just did that now. I'm just gonna clean that up, clean it up. I want to see if it works. So join that because this turns on when the car is turned on. So you can also test that by a multimeter if you have one of these, set it to voltage and look for a wire that turns the voltage up when you when you turn the key on, right? So you're going to use that and you can also use a master switch. You can run a 12V constant to your car if you can't trace that. You can run a 12V constant to your car and then get a switch. So you would connect that pin 86 uh, to the switch that, you know, it gets 12V and from there go P87. The P87 would be one wire coming from the fan. It would come from the fan. The positive wire comes from the fan, goes into P87 on the relay, right? So it goes in there 
then the remaining one would be pin 85. So pin 85 would also be one wire from the temperature switch to pin 85, right? So you got all your pins connected. So you'll be remaining with two wires, one black wire from the fan and one wire from uh, the temperature switch. So what you can do, join those together and give them a negative ground. So ground them to the chassis. Like you can see my ground is there. Ground them to the chassis, ground them to the chassis where well, there's a good ground. So your system would be fine. So I'm just going to test it for now, but the car is cold and doesn't actually start. So I'm just going to do that by mimicking what this temperature switch does, which is to join the wires or bridge the wires together and get power. So I'm just going to use my pliers there and join them together to check if the fan is working. So now the fan, the, the car is turned off. The ignition is off. Oh, come on. All right, it gets crazy at times. Mm -hmm. Now it's on and it's off. So I'm gonna test it with the car off so you can see. So now the ignition is off. There's no power going to the relay. There's nothing. When I take this pliers and I join, I'll just pull that one out and I join the two like that. I have nothing, All right? I have nothing. However, when I turn the key on like that, and I join the two, it should run. There we go. And you can hear the relay clicking. So that is how you do it. That's how you wire your fan through a temperature switch and a relay. So hope this helped. And please like and subscribe if you haven't. I'll try to make more content. I was supposed to have covered and documented the whole process of doing a swap, but wasn't able to. So I'll leave all the information in the description and I would really appreciate it. If you like, give the video a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel. Thanks so much. Peace out.